Well, 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 come back to the channel, guys. Uh, we are talking today about Ganon, as you can see. We are in the Exile Land. I'm gonna talk about the Dregs. It's one of the first dungeons that you guys will be able to find when joining the game. It's at D4 on the map, one of the extremity of the Noob River. Uh, it's protected by a Darfury camp, but it's not like these players, well, these NPCs represent a really big challenge. Quite easy to kill. Although it's the same as usual if you get Swarm, that's not necessarily the level of the NPC that will matter, most likely. The number of sword that's gonna hit your head off. So, to start that, whenever you uh, pass by uh, the Darfari camp, there is of course a few notes, a few things to find around. As you can see, I was looking at the banner at the very moment. This banner is... Uh, buildable at your camp so you can unlock it by just interacting with it with your button X if you're on Xbox. Uh, around the camp there is also another note I believe it's a feat if I remember well and also the Darfari weapons made out of bones mostly uh, from what I remember. So essentially we push this forward into the dungeon but this dungeon needs a, a certain riddle to open. You guys probably noticed ghost around the uh, the map but whenever you see ghosts these ghosts are meant to help you they give you clues about what you need to do uh, to find the respective note or accomplish the respective ritual around your emplacement so you got to pay attention uh, if you miss them for some reason you just go backward a little bit and you come back in uh, maybe a minute and they will respawn again so you'll get two a second time but right now to complete this I'm basically just uh, making my way into the, the small camp there it's, like I said it's no big challenge but you got to keep at least one target alive at, at the end what I usually do is that I'm gonna start running at a certain point and go straight into the temple trying to bring as much NPC as possible with me. So that this way, I have multiple chance to activate the ritual. There's one more note that you can find there. Yeah, there it goes. So, here goes the running. I'm going straight into the dungeon to bring as much NPC as possible to maximize my chance to accomplish the ritual. Whenever you get inside the dungeon, you'll see the small ghost I'm talking about. There you go. If you pay attention a little bit to the layout, the scenery, you see that these will accomplish a ritual. They will kill the target. There you go, you see it. So I basically need to do the same. I need to spill some blood on the platform. There it goes. As you can see, there's some glitch. They tend to uh, phase into the platform. Because this is a movable one. Probably some stuff badly implemented by the developers. Uh, thanks to Caesars, because the first time I got there, like everybody, ghosts were not necessarily the first thing I was looking and paying attention. Once you're inside the dungeon, you always have tabs like that. These tabs are really useful to learn feats, to learn new armors, new weapons, to craft. All around the place there is dungeon, caverns, and stuff to discover like that. It all comes down to you to pay attention to these ghosts these lights, these sounds. Whenever you hear that sound, it means that there is something happening around you. So you just circle around the, the, the area a little bit and you'll find what you want. This dungeon comes with a certain riddle to accomplish. It's really not that complicated. Doesn't need a, a big uh, IQ to solve that, honestly. You just need to pay attention a little bit to what you have around you. But as usual, the first time you do it, you got to think about it a little bit. So you kill the targets, you push forward a little bit. I like the scenery and all the uh, the ominous sound going down. The graphics are nice. Uh, once again, some ghosts there. They tell me to push forward. These are doors. You'll find these things uh, all around the dungeons. All around the map, you uh, interact with the with them with uh, X. So whenever you see something on the wall that you're not sure, uh, just go there and spam X a little bit. You'll see if you you'll be able to interact. So here, technically, for some reason, they prevent us from climbing there, which is a bit stupid. That forcing us to uh, use the riddle. So you shoot arrows at precise point. 
these are some kind of targets, like you just saw, and that's gonna activate some kind of it. Uh, well, I don't recall the name in English of that. I'm sorry, but uh, the um, water is gonna raise up to pr give you the chance to push yourself forward. It's the same all around this dungeon. What you just saw is gonna be the same strategy all along. You hear her talk to you, it's, that's the end bus. There is many ways to kill the end bus. Uh, I'm gonna wait to explain you this. As you can see, I got the troll with me, so she's gonna probably deal a certain amount of damage. Mostly bring those with me for the immersion, because they, I can deal my stuff by myself. It's not that hard. So you keep pushing, you're gonna have a few layers like that. Yeah, you see, this one's quite easy. Point. There is some dungeon that are pretty much straightforward, some dungeon that will involve a little bit of thinking like this one, another dungeon that will involve uh, lots of fighting. So it's really up to you to suggest the strategy you're going into it, but I would suggest to do it first, see how that goes. And uh, just look at my video if you have doubts concerning uh, the, the way to accomplish it. There is always some tricks concerning NPC and how to fight those. Uh, how to kite correctly and to learn the pattern of their attack. So this way you can dodge, kite them and fight back easily. I'm gonna work on these. This is just the first dungeon one presented to you because this is one way new players have to actually get there have some uh, good scale of experience and have access to some of the material their first feet their first uh, armors their first weapons the schematic to learn and it's part of the game anyway i believe this is the last one there i oh, know there's still another one i'll have a a few of these kill attempt to bash I'm using weapons that you can unlock at the Archivist. Uh, these were called uh, Havoc and Malice. The one I'm using right now is the Limerian one. This one you uh, can access it at the Witch Queen dungeon. It's supposed to be the second more difficult dungeon and in my opinion it's one of the most easiest one. It's related to combat. There's no riddle. It's straightforward. You go there, you have three targets to kill. And uh, whenever I do a video on that, that's going to take five minutes. There goes the last part of the riddle. This one is tricky a little bit. I would say it's the one that is not necessarily uh, showing you any clues. You go on the left side, you swim till you'll hit some uh, angled rock. And you're going to be able to climb on the rocks there. Whenever you're there, you should see the decoy on the, the other side. So you just need to take that bow, shoot that arrow at the same place that you did previously in the dungeon. And you're going to get off this ledge to get up the ledge right here on the right. On the left at this moment. There you go. So basically stick to the left side. You enter by the left side and you use the, the uh, trigger on the left side by shooting at it. And this is the boss. Whenever you fight the boss you have two options. Either you stand far and you use bows. Or you wait for the right time and you use your melee weapons. But if you do use your melee weapons I would suggest you not to use the uh, lock on it because whenever you lock on it it tends to bring you inside the pit. I don't want to go in that. Pit. So that's what I'm talking about. She had her head off at the moment. And I'm using the lock. Oh well, yeah, she got back. I took my time there to be able to show you the mechanic guys because I could drop it really fast. It's really not a challenge. I'm just waiting for her to get her stupid head off that pit. Whenever you use the lock on it, my point is that it's gonna slowly drag you in the pit whenever you hit it. 
so I would suggest you not to lock at it. You just wait for her to have her head off the pit, so she's attacking you directly, and you go slice her, but don't use the auto lock. There she goes. You'll see exactly what I mean by that. There you go. I'm gonna use the auto lock, and you see it's dragging me into the pit, which is completely stupid because she's out. So you need to just remove it and keep hitting. You control your um, your swing manually this way. It's not a bad way actually to learn how to do this. That's it for this abysmal remnant. You need to harvest it to get some uh, abysmal stuff out of it. Abysmal eye. Uh, stuff that is good for crafting. That there is some. Uh, there it goes. Arrows daggers and some stuff related to that that you need to unlock using the small notes at the bottom of the pit. You need to do this quick because the pit is gonna refill eventually. And you can actually stay there if you want. Uh, go outside a little bit and wait for it to respawn to farm it. Depending on the server value, uh, they will spawn on faster or less faster on our server we didn't want people to stay inside the dungeon to farm those directly so we did reduce the spawner just a little bit this is the exit uh, it's pretty much it at the moment uh, since we're around we're on d4 on d4 there is also a nobilisk this is a fast travel arrival one of the main thing main feature of the game uh, that is confusing a little bit most of the new players don't get it these are fast travel arrival. To fast travel, you need to have access to the world map. To have access to the world map, you need to meet the archivist. But once you have the world map, you can use these as starting point for fast travel. So you use the world map to fast travel to obelisk. You cannot use an obelisk to fast travel to another obelisk or travel back to a map. It's why on the server we have world map usually close by every single obelisk so that this way the player base on PvE are able to uh, travel around faster. The moment they unlock an obelisk, they have access to that fast travel and they also have access to the world map that we have around. So every player can use those. That's it for today guys, that's it for the dregs. The dregs is probably the easiest dungeon you can accomplish when starting the game. This was QC Warchief. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and please come back guys. Have a good one.